Hi, this is Greg with Studio Network Solutions. In this video, we will cover the online or conform process for users that have been working in an offline mode remotely. In our Nomad Basics video, we covered the process of retrieving the proxy files through a VPN connection to a remote location to allow you to offline edit. When your edit is complete, you will, at some point, need to conform the project back to the camera original or high-res media for finishing or onlining. The process will have the least issues if your offline is as close to finished as possible, except for the media resolution. I would also point out that if you added media during your offline editing that is not on an Evo share, then it will become missing during the conform process. Another issue to be aware of is using software plugins or effects like Boris effects on the remote system that don't exist on the conform system. So let's see how this might look. First, we will need a remote connection to the location where our Evo resides. For this demonstration, I'm going to use TeamViewer to control my office workstation. There are several other options here that would also allow remote control of the workstation. Now that we are using our workstation, we should have normal high-speed access to Evo shares. However, we will still see a lag visually in performance due to the speed of our internet connection. Just a note here, if you are physically at the office workstation, the conform process will still be the same. You just won't have to remote control the computer. For the conform process, we will need to open the project here on our workstation that we used in the offline process at our remote location. At this point, we need to reverse the links from the proxy media we used back to the original media, so we will mount the Evo shares with our media, open the project in our NLE, and link it to the original media. For this example, we're using DaVinci Resolve, but most NLEs will have a similar process. There are several options for linking the media, based on a timeline, based on bins, or individual files. Once the files are linked, you'll be able to complete the online process. For more tips on remote editorial, please subscribe to SNS on the Tube.